This is uh, an update on the simplicity. I um, said that I was going to do the um, opposed first and restore that, but um, I really didn't have any money, and um, so I worked for my dad, and he bought me paint and stuff. So that's what I'm doing, painting this. I got all the the seat and the back part prepped. I have to prep that and I have to prep this. All that white stuff is I put rust remover on it and it changed the rust into that and I just ground that off. This is the lift carriage thing that lifts up the deck. Back rollers, blades, and that's the belt tensioner. Got the mandrels over there. So, yeah. I'll show you the paint I got. I got this tractor supply, Alice Chambers paint. We've used it before. That's the paint that's on this truck, this red paint and the new white paint right there and in the front. But it's pretty good paint after you put hardener in it. You don't need any clear or anything. Hardener. I primed um, the two back parts with um, um, tractor supply red primer. I just painted them like ten minutes ago. It looks really orange, but it actually is a dark red on the camera for some reason. It's really red oxide primer. That's the actual color when it dries. I put hardener in it, but it's still going to take until the weekend, so where it's dry enough so I can sand it. I put some spray sandable primer on there, and then um, I sanded that with 220, and I sprayed this on there. It's turned out pretty good. It's one part hardener to three parts paint. So, this has actually turned out really smooth. It was kind of rusty and everything. They had to put some Bondo on the top. This took a lot of Bondo. I don't know if you can see it, but it's still uneven around here. And it looks like there's some pits there, but that'll all sand out when I sand this primer down because it's really thick primer. Here's the opposed. I haven't done anything with it because um, I need to get some degreaser and parts for that. So first I have to make some money. Here's my compressor that I used. You guys saw it in another video. So I guess that's about it for the update. The bobcat walk behind is um, still on the back of the truck. So I don't know what's up with that. It was supposed to be off the truck last weekend. I was supposed to take that motor off and get it running. But I didn't, so I started working on this. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.